activity. Can you able to see the PPT screen? Good morning, students. Good morning, yes, ma'am. Shall we start the class? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 
The screen is visible to you. No, ma'am. Yeah, one minute. It's changing in the desktop, but it's not changing in the mobile starting. Yes, so our uh, next topic is uh, Unit Five: Quality Standards. So, in this uh, fifth module, what are the topics we are going to discuss? Means so the first two topic is quality standards. Then we will discuss basic concepts of ISO uh, 9000 and 9001. Then CMM six sigma concepts, development of CMM, uh, CMM following the KPIs, key performance assessment aspects. Then requirements management, RM, and software project tracking and oversighting, SPTO. So these are the topics uh, the uh, most widely used, or we can say the best practices which are followed uh, by many of the organizations to maintain the quality standard. So these are uh, latest or uh, innovative methods which are uh, often used based on the traditional concepts and theories, principles. And uh, the next topic is software configuration management, SCM. What is software configuration and how it is managed? And organization process definition, OPD concepts, software product engineering, SPE, and peer reviews. What is peer review? And what is the role of peer review? What are the things we can expect from the peer review process? Then quantitative process management, QPM. Then uh, defect prevention and uh, process change management. So these are uh, almost all our individual concepts. If you know the basic uh, fundamental idea about the software quality and uh, software quality assurance aspects, uh, each will have its own methodology, formula, principles, techniques, uh, constraints, rules and regulations, advantages and disadvantages. These methods and concepts are used in different organizations based on the uh, based on their product and process and uh, based on the uh, level they are maintaining, based on the resources and other features of what we are having. So if you take the first concept, quality standards, uh, then we will see the basic concepts of ISO 9000 and 9001, then CMM Six Sigma concepts. So if you take the quality standards in, in the software engineering, the quality standard is defined as the documents that provide requirements, specifications, guidelines, or characteristics that can be used consistently to ensure the materials, products, and processes and services are fit for their purpose. So the quality standards are based on, we need to follow a systematic approach and uh, principles, methods, techniques uh, that are uh, predefined uh, based on the uh, um, with assessment method, what we are following. If you are following ISO standards, so the uh, expected uh, things are different. If you are following CMM standard or Six Sigma or IEEE standards, or if you are going for ISO 9000, 9001, based on the version, what we are uh, going to use, uh, the concepts, tools, techniques, specifications, requirements, characteristics, materials, products, processes, and services will differ from one method, one, uh, one standard to another standard. So the quality standards are based on the customer focus, leadership, engagement of people, process approach, improvement, evidence-based decision-making, relationship management. So these are the various concepts or parameters we need to consider while measuring the quality of software quality standards. 
then if you take what is software quality standard means uh, see a software become uh, a more critical component in systems concerns about software quality increase so the software should have be qualitative one and it should be its standard should be maintained so we are going for quality standards consequently a number of organizations have developed the quality standards that are specific to software or that can be applied to software so depending upon the software what they are creating they are following different standards it's uh, the software standards are specific to the software as well as uh, based on the uh, hardware software and other standards what they are following when developing software for some large organizations especially government organizations consider uh, using one of the following most uh, recognized standards so if you take any government organization so in general they are going for iso standards and the several third party resources contain more information about the those standards so there are so many third party organizations uh, say if you are in automobile sector uh, the automobile uh, association will have its own quality standard the same way if you are in software industry uh, the software industry uh, follows iso standard as well as ieee standard six sigma agile so like that uh, we are uh, depending upon the domain depending upon the process what we are following we are uh, taking different standards international organization for standardization is called iso so the iso is an international uh, standardization organization uh, uh, it's having uh, different versions or uh, having the numbering like 9000 9001 9015 and uh, 2015 so uh, they are really, uh, giving some advanced versions uh, based on the uh, uh, they are uh, standardizing the standards itself by adding and deleting unnecessary Uh, features and expectations based on the uh, because the ISO was established more than uh, it's it was followed more than last to fifty to seventy years. So they uh, increased they uh, this uh, improved the standard by adding and eliminating so many components. Many countries uh, adopted those standards. In some uh, cases, government agencies require compliances with the ISO standard. A third party auditor generally. a certifies complaints so yeah, the iso third party will come and certify your product and process the iso 9000 family of standards is used widely within europe and asia so most of the european based uh, automobile industry and asian based uh, or uh, companies uh, are following the iso standard it, it has not been widely adopted within the united states although many companies and some government agencies are being uh, to used it so the iso international standard organization uh, was established and it was uh, it framed its uh, standards and uh, rules and reg regulations uh, long back but most of the european based companies and asian companies are uh, using the iso standard and it's not widely used in uk uk and us the iso 9000 is an introduction to the iso family of standard the first sta iso is an family of standards it's having 9000 9001 2015 mm -hmm. like that and uh, depending upon the industry uh, they are giving some numbers De depending upon the year uh, and how long you know, they are getting whether they are getting the st standardization for one year two year three year so depending upon that that numbering will differ the iso 9001 is a model for quality assurance in design development production installation and servicing so mostly the design automobile design development uh, same product development organizations like uh, ashok leyland uh, tvs production and manufacturing sectors installation and servicing sectors like lnt uh, they are mostly going for uh, iso uh, they are following the iso processes in their organization so that uh, they are uh, they are they will be well known uh, they, they are generating their own brand its focuses on design and development makes it most appropriate standard for software products so uh, in industry software industry also we are going for iso standards if your product is iso standardized iso certified then it will uh, the brand name will automatically increase and it will be reachable to the uh, most of uh, the people will come and uh, purchase your software uh, because it's having its own standard if you take the international organization uh, because the iso 9000 family is designed to apply to any industry it is somewhat difficult to apply for software development so any manufacturing sector can make use of the iso standard but uh, i uh, for implementing the iso or getting the iso in software industry is somewhat uh, difficult 
because it uh, gives importance to this uh, development process, implementation process, deployment, uh, uh, the, uh, the instruments, uh, products, uh, employees. So everyone should follow some standard. It's having its own uh, list of uh, guidelines for each and every aspect, say the uh, infrastructure, facilities, services, medical facilities, if you have people working in the organization, their quality, qualification, experience, everything should be counted uh, in case of ISO standardization. ISO 9003.3 uh, 9, is a set of guidelines designed to explain how to apply ISO 9001 specifically to, to software development. So here in the 9000.3 is uh, specifically that particular guideline, the subsection provides the guidelines for software development standardization. ISO 9001 does not uh, dedicate software development pro procedures. Instead, it requires documentation of development pro procedures and adherence to the standards you set. Conformance with ISO 9001 does not guide uh, guarantee quality. So if you are going for 9001 and if you are uh, certified in 9001, uh, 9001 uh, it means they are following the standards, but it, uh, it will not uh, guarantee that uh, once it is certified, uh, it's a fully qualitative one. We can't give the guarantee and assurance. Instead, the idea behind 9001 is that companies that emphasize quality and follow documented practices pro produce higher quality products than companies that do not. So if they are uh, getting the certification, it means that they are following the processes, guidelines, documentation, and other uh, formalities, whatever mentioned by the ISO 9001. So they may, we may expect some good quality with ISO products than the non-certified products. If you take the history of an uh, ISO standardization process, its uh, initial version is 9000. 9000. Uh, it was uh, uh, then uh, they uh, improved the version to 9001, two, three, four, and uh, uh, during nine. nine 1987, the ISO 9000 was introduced. During 1994, they added some additional parameters. During 2000, 2008, and if you take uh, 9004, was introduced during 2015. So what is ISO 9000 quality standards means? It describes quality assurance elements in the generic terms that can be applied to any business. So it gives the generalized guidelines for any business uh, quality standards. It treats an enterprise as a network of in interconnected processes. So if you are having a big organization, inter enterprise, so there is a lot of difference between a company, uh, say they usually will say LLC, you might have come across so many keywords uh, with a similar meaning. Say we'll say LLC, usually in uh, Dubai and all they used to say LLC. So they will have some name, then they will say LLC. It's a limited, uh, in India we you say limited company, private company, global, uh, uh, government uh, sector, NGO company. So we like that, we'll have company, um, factory, industry, organization, enterprise, so like that, we have so many terms. In my, if you take it, take it in management terms, company means a small setup where they will manufacture one or two products. Industry means uh, it's also in one unit, single unit. Uh, it may be located in the headquarters. Uh, there they will uh, manufacture more than one product. They will have a diversity in the product manufacturing process. And if you take company industry, then we'll have the... Uh, then we'll have a private company means it is a, it's a registered private company with the, its own branding and uh, everything is copyright protected. Then uh, we come, we'll have the organization. Organization means it will have branches, a number of, uh, usually the organization term is used along with the uh, big manufacturing sectors as well as uh, where they have a number of branches within the country and uh, they will have n number of units. Say if you take Ashok Leland, they have n number of units. In uh, Ozur itself, they have two plants. In uh, Chennai, they have another plant. And uh, in many of the uh, places uh, throughout the India, other states also, they have, uh, they have the, their own plant. In each plant, uh, they, in some plant, they will manufacture only uh, lorry, lorries. Some, uh, they are, some other plant, they will manufacture trucks. So some other plant, they will manufacture uh, three-wheeler uh, three -wheeler kind of things. So some places, they will go for high HMV products, heavy machine vehicles. 
so they will have a n number of products different varieties different brands uh, so many versions and they will have uh, units uh, throughout the country so all put together will it's called an organization say so the same way if you say enterprise means they will have branches throughout the world and uh, n number of people will be working so it's based on the procedures processes and the resources what we are using uh, based on that we are getting the quality standard it ensures quality planning quality control quality assurance and quality improvement so if you are going getting the iso 9000 it means that the products which are manufactured are uh, based on uh, during the planning itself in the initial stage of product development itself they are following some quality and once the product is developed after that they are going for quality control so qa qc will be done then uh, when it comes to the uh, in the in comes to the market or uh, dealer uh, they are assuring the quality through the car, uh, warranty and uh, var uh, they will give uh, service and warranty as well as guarantee and uh, quality improvement means they if they found any get the feedback they will improvise the product say they will have the, the different versions say the initially will have uh, windows uh, 7 windows 10 windows 11 vista hp so like that uh, new uh, features will be added into the product so that the product is in improvement process so these are the things which are ensured by the iso quality if you take the iso 9000 certification process it's having first we need to submit the application then uh, that is the first stage we will send an application to the iso uh, certifying organization then it uh, will go for pre assessment they will come and visit your organization for assessment process then the third stage is document review and adequacy of audit so they will check all the documents uh, they will uh, they may expect a last 3 years or last 5 years documents you need to present all the documents and uh, it means that you are following the quality standards uh, for the last 3 years or last 5 years and uh, they uh, based on the audit they will give the complaints and uh, audit report then once the audit report if they found any faults or a deficiency that need to be rectified and the resubmission should be done then uh, once the resubmission is okay and if they are uh, they will come for re audit or or they are satisfied with the documentation itself with the proof and photos they will give the certificate uh, registration they will give you the iso 9000 certification registration will be done the registration may be for over uh, 3 years or 5 years and then continued inspection so uh, if you are, they are giving the certification for 3 years after 3 years again they will come and check and they will give the uh, certification once again so this is these are the steps we need to follow if you are going for iso certification process uh, for your software as plus well for any product so in iso what they are expecting uh, from the product means say what you do so if you are saying some specification these are my specifications for my software those specification should be implemented in your project so this is the slogan for iso 9001 during the year 1987 then uh, they made another slogan uh, for iso say what you do and do what you say so whatever you are saying whatever specification you are stating that should be implemented and whatever you are implemented that should be useful to the society so that was the another slogan introduced during 1994 the third one is result orientation with an emphasis on leadership Uh, leadership and risk assessment adoption of plan to the framework so this is the slogan introduced during 2015 so if you see iso 9001 uh, they will put the 9001 uh, with 1987 or 1994 2002 uh, 2008 the slogan is continuous improvement of existing process so whatever standard you are following i say the efficiency is uh, 80% this year next year it should come to 85% next year it should go increase to 90% so uh, you should show on continuous progress in your uh, uh, process and during the 2015 uh, result orientation and leadership and risk uh, analysis so these are the slogans proposed by iso during different terms so any doubt with respect to this particular slide No, ma'am. 
So if you take the ISO 9000 quality standards for the software quality industry, the relevant standards are with respect to software industry, what are the standards uh, which are more uh, uh, adaptable to software industry means the ISO 9001 quality systems. Say the particular, uh, particular standard gives you a model for quality assurance. It gives you a model for quality assurance, design, development, production, installation, and servicing. So during the design stage itself, we have to follow some standard. While developing coding time also, we have to follow the standards. And once it is completely assembled or it is ready to use, that time also, it should have the quality. And while installing or the software, that time we should follow some standards. And once it is installed to deploy it on the particular site, uh, after uh, you know, six months or one year of usage, you, know, you should have the facility for service. This is a standard which describes the quality system used to support the de uh, development of product, uh, which involves design. So the ISO 9001 quality systems, this particular uh, subsection gives you a standardized method for uh, quality assurance in design, development, production, and installation and servicing. The same way, the subsection ISO 9000.3 uh, gives you the guidelines for application of ISO 9001 to de development, supply, maintenance of the software. This is a specific document which interprets ISO 9001 for the software developer. The section 9000.3 uh, also gives you a clear guideline for development, supply, and maintenance. The same way 9004.2 gives you uh, quality management and quality system elements. Part two, uh, this document provides guidelines for the service of software facilities such as user support. So what are the user support we'll get from the, uh, how the users are getting um, benefited, user satisfaction, user friendliness, and uh, feedback process, improving the, uh, cons uh, considering the feedback and improvising the software product. So these are the divisions of ISO 9000, uh, say the 9001, 9000.3, 9004.2. It's mainly deals with software, quality systems, guidelines for application, quality management, and quality system elements. If, if you take the history of ISO 9001, so as we discussed, uh, the ISO 9001 was introduced during 1987, the publication of ISO 9000 series of standards. It provides stated some a number of standard guidelines. And during 1994, a revision is made in the ISO 9001. So they added some and deleted some components. Uh, 20 classes. Each class will deal with each aspect. So the infrastructure, one class, facilities, another class, uh, employees, another class, employee services, another class, leave, uh, leave rules, uh, guidelines, employee, um, say the PF, uh, EF, uh, and uh, the medical facilities, uh, family welfare. So like that, each and every class they added. So each subclass deals with each aspect of the standard. And 20 required for procedures, three auditable standards. So they have three types of standards, 9001, 9002, and 9003. All those revisions are made during 1994. If you take uh, 2000, the, during the year 2000, yeah, another major revision was made, 80 classes and six uh, required. So they introduced eight classes. Out of eight, you should uh, gain marks in six classes then only you can get the ISO 9001 certification and process approach. So instead of a product approach, uh, whatever process, everyday activity is counted for uh, pro certification process. Not, they will not consider only the end product. Each and every day in the organization, what are the procedures, processes we are following? And one auditable standard. So based on the audit, we will get the 9001 certification. And 2008 also, they made another revision, major revision for uh, word clarification. So they clarified each and every term in the various classes and standards. And 2015, another major revision was made in the ISO 9001. Uh, 10 classes for uh, mainly they focused. And uh, we should follow all the 10 classes. 
but it's not compulsory to gain more. we should follow no, not not all are compulsory and the risk assessment was introduced so whatever what we are doing what are the risks associated with the particular process so while developing the software what are the risks say the technical risk the social risk uh, the poly political risk so uh, and other community based risk say if you are developing in software that should not harm any society that should not harm a particular person that should not harm any particular community and that should obey the rules and regulations of the uh, country so each country will have its own uh, constitution so it should not harm or it should not against anything so the risk assessment was introduced and the top management emphasized the role of top management in uh, every process is emphasized so these are the major revisions added in iso 9001 so this diagram also gives you the iso 9001 2015 even our uh, jain university also iso 9001 2015 certified uh, and uh, last year also we uh, went for iso auditing and uh, after that uh, so every year uh, almost uh, we will prepare the iso documents it's having n number of templates uh, so t1 t2 t3 like that so based on the uh, data what we are providing and uh, they will come for the audit and they will give the certification to take iso 9001 main classes pdca so uh, this particularly deals with the software software industry say ours is an education organization uh, for education organization they will have their own uh, they will expect the infrastructure faculty students fa stu uh, and other uh, labs uh, classrooms tools uh, equipments softwares uh, employees uh, non teaching staff everything they will count but if it goes to software industry they focus on plan it discuss uh, the planning is uh, mentioned in the class 6 called as planning do uh, the do is uh, mentioned in class 2 support and class 8 uh, operation and check it is mentioned in class 9 performance evaluation and uh, act it's based on uh, improvement so the software industry iso certification is based on plan do check and act the plan is mentioned in 6 do is mentioned in 7 and 8 check is mentioned in 9 and act is mentioned in 10 so next topic is quality standards basic concepts of iso 9000 and 9001 and uh, the next topic is cmm 6 sigma So any doubt so far? Mm. Our next topic is CMM Six Sigma. So if you take a CMM, it is also a standardizing method. It's uh, abbreviated as Capability Maturity Model. CMM is called Capability Maturity Model Integration. so the software engineering institute sci developed the capability maturity model in integration cmmi model for software quality so if you are, want to measure the quality of an software we can make use of the model cmmi model the cmmi model focuses on improving the maturity of the processes of an organization so if you are following the cmmi model Well, then it will automatically improve the organization processes whereas iso establishes only two levels of conformance pass or fail but the cmm appraises an organization and ranks it into one of the five categories so here if you are going for iso certification uh, if the standards are followed in your organization they will give the certification for the entire organization and products uh, if you are meeting the standards whatever documents processes they are asking if you are providing if you are following you know, will get the certification they, uh, they you may pass or fail in the iso certification but if you go for cmmi here uh, uh, if you get minimum marks they will give you a different uh, levels so if you are saying uh, in nac also we are having a uh, nac with a grade a plus grade is b grade b plus grade c grade with c plus plus grade so we will have the grading system if your more uh, percentage is less than 60 will get c grade nac c uh, if you are getting more than 80 percentage you will get b grade if you are getting more than 90 percent you will get a grade more than 95 you will get a plus a plus plus so like that the marking and grading was given in uh, cmmi model 
So in ISO only pass or fail, but here uh, gray more pass as plus the grading will be given. So from the uh, pyramid structure, you can uh, easily understand. In CMMA model, we have five levels. So the level one is not performed. Level uh, uh, one is performed informally. Level two is planned and tracked. And level three is well defined. Level four is qu quantitatively controlled. Level five is continuously improving. So if you are getting uh, level zero means uh, you are in the failed state. If you are getting the level one or level two, okay, you gained some marks. And if you are getting level three and level four, so your organization is a world class organization. And uh, if you are getting with level five, waiting to see one. So like that, they are giving the grading. So from this diagram also, we can easily understand the level one initial, level two is managed, level three is defined, level four is quantitatively managed. And if you are in level five, you are an optimal, optimized one. So if you are in the in this particular borderline, it means you are in the risk, you will not get qualified. If you are getting more than this, you are, you will get qualified as well as greater rank. In CMMI level, we are following five levels. Uh, level one is initial level. Level two is uh, repeatable. So where the stable process for projects, number of stable processes will be stated. Level three is defined, defined processes for organization. They will give they will defined set of rules and regulations for organization. Level four is managed. So they even here will measure the success of the process. So we will have a well-planned structure and we'll follow the rules and regulations and guidelines, everything. And the level five, optimized one. So turn process based to on measurements. So here we'll get the maximum marks and your processes are with the maximum grading. So in level one uh, initial the organization has few defined processes, quality and schedules are unrepeatable. So the, here the quality is very low. They will follow less standards and uh, will have the less uh, defined processes. If you take level two repeatable, the organization establishes policies based on software engineering techniques and provides uh, pre projects that were successful. So here, if you are following the all software engineering techniques in your product development, like agile process or extreme processing, or uh, if you are following any uh, object-oriented uh, techniques, or if you are following uh, hierarchical modeling, so based on the, uh, so you are following some systematic approach in the development process. They also track software, cost, features, schedules, project standards are defined and followed. So they will check whether we are maintaining uh, templates for costing, features, schedules, and project standards. Although the groups can deal with the similar projects based on this experience. And level three is defined. The organization establishes a baseline set of policies for all projects. Uh, groups are well trained and know how to customize this set of policies. So the various uh, teams in your project will have well-defined uh, norms and they are well-trained. Each project has well-defined characteristics that make it possible to actually measure the progress. So if you are following a well-defined characteristics and uh, standards and methods, definitely we can get the, if you are following the best practices, then we'll get the best result. If you go for the level four, if your organization is managed one, this organization sets uh, quality goals for projects and processes and measures progress towards those goals. So we'll set our own goals uh, to achieve the target. We'll uh, travel through the goal. So accordingly, we will set the costing, timing, processes, equipments, uh, everything. Everyone will be given some target. So they have to achieve the target within the given stipulated time. And if you take the level five optimizing, the organization emphasizes continuous process improvement so they will focus this year if you are getting uh, the profit of uh, profit of uh, uh, say one crore next uh, next year they may get the sort target as they have to gain the profit of 1.5 next year two two crores so like that uh, they want to see the progress uh, continuous improvement the organization evaluates the software engineering techniques it uses in different groups and applies them throughout the organization so we have to follow the uh, software engineering techniques and uh, tools and methods in each and every aspect of your software engineering 
project development. The following illustration sh shows the five levels of CMMI and the processes necessary for advancement in the next level. So if you follow, initially you may be in, uh, when you are starting a company, initially you may be in level one, then you have to uh, proceed to level two, level three, level four. So if you want maximum, uh, uh, maximum uh, grading in CMMI technique, you should be in the level five. And if you follow the software engineering techniques, best practices in each and every aspect of your project development life cycle, then only you can get, uh, it will automatically increase your profit. It will reduce your cost. It will uh, give maximum benefit to the employees. And uh, automatically it improves the product, uh, project, software project development. So based on the CMMI model, the capability, Maturity model integration, the five process maturity levels are clearly stated. So we have process maturity and levels. So we have the levels as initial level, second one managed, third one defined, fourth one quantitative managed, fifth one managing. So in the first level, if you are in first level, what we are expecting now, processes are inconsistent, not organized, no reactive and poorly managed. So if you are in first level, uh, this will be you are not following any best practices, you are not doing anything in an organized way, and uh, you are not maintaining or managing anything properly. If you are in second level, processes are focused on basic project management. So we'll, uh, each and every process, we are focusing on the project management techniques. In third level, processes are defined and focused on standardization. So initially, we are, uh, we are in the poor state, then we are going to project management state, then we are reaching to uh, uh, standardization. Once you are following the best practices and project management techniques, then uh, you will be in a confident position to go for standardization. If you take the qualitative managed the fourth, process, fourth level, process measurement is based on organizational process. So the overall organization process must, must ensure the quality of your software. Performance and quantitative project management techniques are used. So the performance will be evaluated quantitative. So we have to measure how much we are spending, how much we are producing. Uh, everything will measure in terms of quantity. If you go for the optimization level, process emphasizes continuous improvement. We should show some progress in each year, each year, every six months or every one year. And, uh, and the, uh, we'll share, set the short-term uh, goal as well as long-term goal. The short-term goal will be next to three months, what we are going to do. Uh, next to six months, what we are going to do. Or next to one year, uh, what is our progress? But if you go for long-term plan, after five years, I want to be the top leader. I want to be the particular product that should be used by uh, well, a near number of customers. Say initially your software is used by only a particular organization. Then uh, your target is to make it to 10 organizations must use your software. Next level, 100 organizations throughout the country, throughout the world. So like that, you should sh show some progress in your process, organizational performance, and the informal analysis should be done, and the resolutions should be made to reach the target. So these are the five levels which are emphasized in CMMI model. The first two level focuses on process. The, the third and fourth one focuses on maturity and optimis fifth one is based on optimization. And if you take the levels and uh, what is the focus of each level and what are the key performance areas we need to consider in CMMI model means in initial level, it is competent people. So they will uh, focus on the people. And here, no key performance assessment. In the second uh, level, repeatable uh, project management techniques uh, should be followed in your pro project. And here, the software project planning, software configuration management is, is places an important role. Based on these two things, we can manage, uh, we can identify your project. And the third one is defined one. Here we will give focus uh, to definition of processes. What are the processes we are following in our organization? How it is pro uh, targeting process definition, uh, training program, and peer reviews. So the third level, this is well-defined processes. And uh, the processes should, uh, each process should be well-defined. Training should be given to the, for each and every process. And peer review process places an important role. 
the fourth one is managed here uh, we focus on product and process quality so whatever process we are following it should be a qualitative one and we'll give focus to the product also here uh, we'll give the quantitative process metrics we here we'll uh, measure the uh, product uh, product measurement will be done and process measurement will be done whether the product what we are developing is uh, in the is having all the high standards and in the processes what we are following are we following the uh, high standard process measurement techniques whether the processes are following the good quality uh, are we picking the best practices are we following the say if some uh, if you go with the normal process it may be easy for for you to uh, do it but if you are fixing some high standard and uh, uh, to follow the high standard path it is uh, somewhat difficult you may feel uh, difficult initially so each and uh, in a managed level uh, the measurement should be done whether the product is high quality product what we are manufacturing and the uh, processes the steps we are following in our project development processes having the international standard or not and uh, if you take the fifth level optimizing so the optimal means uh, i think you might have studied in a soft uh, research methodology so what is the optimization what is optimization for the cpm even in shortest path also say if you are taking the traveling salesman problem or a shortest path uh, digital algorithm you might have studied they are they are all come under optimization techniques so it means that we'll have a number of solution from the available n number of solution we have to choose the best optimal solution which gives you the maximum benefit say we, we can travel from any one path to on our source to destination in any path but our aim is to travel in the shortest path so that the time and cost uh, energy will be saved so the same way we'll have a number of solutions from the available a number of solutions we have to choose the best optimal more efficient solution so in the fifth level we are focusing on the optimization here uh, it focuses on defect prevention if the number of defects are very less your uh, quality will automatically increase and process change management if something is not giving you the perfect result you have to change the process as well as management activities then technology change management so if you are using the low quality or uh, less configured systems there we cannot expect the efficiency it will waste your time as well as uh, energy so it will take 5 minutes or 10 minutes to process something but if you are doing a uh, machine learning kind of projects if you go with the uh, gpus then only you can get the maximum uh, we will get produce the result with less time so the optimization focuses on continuous process management uh, for to achieve that we have to go for defect prevention process change management and technology change management concepts so any doubt with respect to cmmi concepts so far what we discussed so initially we saw what is cmmi definition the five levels of cmmi and uh, the five levels are categorized into low risk and high quality and uh, the five levels have its own uh, predefined processes and activities and each level is having and focusing on different aspects of progress and if you categorize the five levels initial managed defined quantitatively managed and optimizing in each stage we are focusing on giving importance to different so software development process activity and if you take compare the cmmi level focus and key process areas each level focuses on different areas and different targets our next topic is cmm following kps so as we discussed cmm cmm is capability maturity model it's developed by the software engineering institute by sci in carnegie mellon uh, university carnegie mellon university the it is a framework that kind of describes the key elements of an effective software process so it is a, it is a model or it is a framework framework means it it's having its own boundaries so the process should be cmmi model should be applied in a predefined environment we cannot simply apply it to the entire city or entire 
so there is a boundary so within the organization we can apply within the project we can apply and the same way high quality software organizations are different from low quality organizations because of the brand branding is based on the standardization process simmi tries to capture and describe those differences it tries to create software development organizations that are mature or more mature than before applying cmm so initially if you are if you are not applying cmm my model uh, we will be following low standards and low processes once you apply this you will uh, your organization will work in a mature way it will produce best results it describes five levels of software process maturity so here we have five levels of maturity and it includes lots of the detailed about each level so in each level what we have to follow we will look for uh, so each level what we have to follow that is predefined so the, uh, as we said discussed the initial we have initial level here we are not following any key performance assessments here no assessment methods simply we establish we started doing the project development and in the second level the key performance assessment uh, criteria are project planning should be focused configuration management uh, plays an important role say the software and hardware configuration requirements management so we have to identify the functional requirements and non functional requirements sub contract management so the agreements and other contracts and software quality assurance techniques should be implemented so all those things should be uh, followed in the level 2 repeatable if you take the defined one here it here uh, we give give focus to the quality so we will go for peer reviews inter group cooperation organization process definition and organization process focus and training programs so all those things uh, places an important role in the defined level if you take the fourth level managed here we give focus to the quality management quantitative management so these are the kpas Uh, that are followed in each level so we are talking about the kps now key per, uh, performance assessment techniques so the key performance assessment followed in cmmi or these are the initial stage no kps repeatable stage we are focusing on planning management prior requirements sub contract in the defined level we are giving uh, importance to peer reviews inter group organization process organizational process focus and training programs in the optimization level processes process change management pcm technology change management and defect prevention so these are the kps followed in optimizing level 5 so any doubt with respect to the kps of cmmi no ma'am If you take the development of uh, CMMI model, so the same way the history of uh, ISO, the same way the CMMI model was introduced for software uh, processes during 1993, and uh, then it uh, 1997 the draft E uh, version 1.1 was released, and the version 1.2 uh, was released during 1997 draft E, draft C, then. Um, during 2000 version uh, 1.02 was released and then uh, the version 1.1 released in 2002 here uh, the, the cmmi for development we uh, version 1.2 2016 was released after 2002 during 2007 we have cmmi for acquisition version 1.2 and cmmi for services version 1.2 uh, they released two versions 2007 acquisition Uh, we we 1.2 services we 1.2 versions are released and uh, during 1995 the version 1.1 was released 1997 uh, integrated product development creating creating the software in pieces then integrating the pieces into uh, the complete project so divide and conquer based solving the problem with the small with, with in the atomic state then integrating all the components and getting the complete system so integrated product development like component uh, development model kind of uh, <coughs> documents are released 
so this is uh, the history and the various versions uh, released for cmmi model if you take the level 1 and the various the kpas the level 1 we give importance to the process and unpredictable poorly controlled and reactive the level 2 it's a managed one so we can manage the software here uh, the it processes are characterized uh, characterized for projects uh, and is often reactive in level 3 uh, process characterized for the organization and is proactive projects trailer their processes from organization standards so here we'll give importance to the uh, character uh, process characterized level 4 process measured and controlled so we can able to measure our process and we can able to manage if you any changes needed now we can change it uh, any defects are uh, found we can able to eliminate in level 5 we are focusing purely on optimization we, we expect the optimal result maximum efficiency so here focuses on process improvement so we need to show improvement in each and every year so here the if you take the kps so the same already discussed in so many slides initial stage in repeat here the level 1 we are using the repeatable configuration management quality assurance subcontract management project tracking and oversight project planning requirements management so these are the topics we are discussing in this module in the level 3 defined here we give importance to the standards through peer reviews coordination product engineering software management training programs training process definitions organization process focus in the level 4 software quality management quantitative process management was given importance in the level 5 we give importance to the change management and uh, technology change management and defect prevention techniques so the we were talking about cmmi kpas so what is kpa means key process areas so which are the areas we need to focus so that we can improve our process so if you take uh, the uh, definition of kpa uh, except for level 1 each maturity level is uh, decomposed into several key process areas so that indicates where an organization should focus to improve its software process so any doubt with respect to key process areas okay so you just to go through the i think i already uploaded this please go through the content if you have any doubt ask me in the next class okay navin yes ma'am okay yeah so i think uh, we have a need by 12 o'clock uh, because everyone left i after all everyone left i came to know there is a meeting okay we'll discuss okay. tomorrow okay yes, all the best shall i end the class yes ma'am okay uh, so. so we have a meeting a department meeting everyone left okay we just yeah, to go to the contact if you have any doubt ask me in the next class okay, okay. Okay thank you all